buckle up, snowflakes, because I'm about to blow your mittens off with a tail that's cooler than a penguin's pajamas. My prediction? You're going to wish you had popcorn for this ice-capped underdog story, where the USA takes on the Soviet Union in a plot twist so big it could only be described as the miracle on ice. Here's the deal. A bunch of college kids, who probably should have been studying for midterms, decided to lace up and face off against the Soviet Union's hockey titans at the 1980 Winter Olympics. Picture this. It's like if David, armed with nothing but a slingshot and some sass, decided to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Goliath. If Goliath was a team of bear-wrestling, shot-stopping Soviets who hadn't heard the word lose since they started playing. Fast forward to the game and its heart-pound city, population, every American with a pulse. The Soviets come out swinging, probably thinking they're about to steamroll over the Americans like they're playing pin the tail on the freedom. But oh, plot twist. The U.S. team, with the collective firepower of a microwave popcorn bag ready to pop, starts scoring. Jim Craig, the U.S. goalie, basically turns into a brick wall, if brick walls could make insane saves and inspire a nation. Then, with the clock ticking down, Mike Arruzzione says, hold my beer, and scores what's essentially the slap shot heard round the world. The crowd goes wild, the Soviets are shook, and for a moment, everyone forgets this isn't a Hollywood script. Spoiler, the U.S. wins, proving once and for all that when it comes to hockey, miracles are not just possible, they're as American as apple pie and shooting for the stars. So, as you recover from the chills I know you've got, don't forget to smash that like button with the fury of a thousand hockey pucks and subscribe harder than a slap shot straight to the net. Let's keep this icy party rolling.